Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I've been uploading a lot of uh, 8K uh, video content in my uh, Asus Strix RTX 4090 graphics card. I've been getting a few questions on how do you set up 8K uh, on a 4K monitor. So basically my desktop resolution is 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. And to set up 8K, you would go, uh, you'd right click on your mouse. And if you're on Windows 11, click uh, show more options. And then you go to NVIDIA control panel. Let that load for a second. And then you go to the top left hand corner and choose uh, manage 3D settings. And then you're gonna wanna go to DSR factors. Currently mine is at 4X. Uh, 4X would be, uh, like I said, 8K resolution. So 7680 by 3320. And again, this is assuming that you're already on a 4K display. So that's all you do there to set up a 8K. And then you would just click uh, apply and then you could close it. And then another tip I had is, is uh, if you're using MSI Afterburner to uh, show your uh, overclock, uh, you know, settings and your frames per second, what have you, uh, if you want to make sure that the uh, on-screen display is larger uh, when you're doing 4K, so you're going to go to on-screen uh, display zoom, and then for 8K, you're going to want to max this out all the way. For 4K, I generally keep it right between uh, this uh, second and third uh little dot there above the uh, cursor right there and then for 8k you would max it out all the way that way you can actually read the uh, the on-screen display settings and another thing that I get asked a lot is uh, what are my GP overclock settings and so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in this video here too so I am running like I said a uh, Asus Strict RTX 4090 graphics card which I have it which I have had since launch and I am running a dedicated 16-pin uh, Seasonic uh, power cable, which uh, is definitely safer to use, and then so for uh, core voltage, I have it 100% forced, 100%, which is the highest possible uh, setting it could go to. And to force it, you would uh, click this little uh, options uh, settings menu here, and uh, let's see here. Yeah, so then you go to compatibility properties and you click for constant voltage. Now that's only if you want the absolute max uh, possible uh, force voltage. So power limit I have raised to 120%, which is the highest possible setting it goes to for 4090. Temp limit I generally just leave at 83C because it doesn't really ever get that high. Core clock, this is for my overclock 24-7 uh, settings. Like every time I make a gaming video, I always have it 170 megahertz uh, core overclock, which is uh, always been stable since day one and then memory I don't really have a very high memory overclock but it's a pretty conservative setting but uh, 1185 megahertz and then the fan speed I would generally set to 100% now if I go to apply these settings uh, you will hear that the fan will really kick on and will get pretty loud and just so you can see uh, the settings in uh, GPC this is the clock speeds that everything would run at uh, in GPC, so and generally in game, my GPU would generally boost to around uh, 3060 to 3090 megahertz, depending on the temperatures. Go ahead and uncheck that, and uh, let me just pause the video for one moment here, and then I'll show you the next uh, worthy uh, thing to know about. Okay, so now I just want to show you an example of uh, setting up 8K in a game. So we're in Cyberpunk 2077, and as you can see, the resolution is set to 7680 by 4320. Now, one thing you want to monitor, now assuming you're running either a 4090 or 3090, which has uh, 24 gigabytes of VRAM, is you want to pay attention to the memory usage, GPU memory usage, which is right up there. It's at almost 22 gigabytes. Now, the issue is of uh, Cyberpunk, because it's such a heavy game, uh, if you run uh, 8K, along with uh, frame generation, it ends up using extra VRAM. So actually what's gonna happen is if I go ahead and apply these settings and DLSS to set the quality mode, all the uh, advanced character settings are fully maxed out. Uh, see if I can scroll down here and show you everything is fully maxed out. With uh, ray tracing and you know ray path tracing and ray reconstruction all turned on. Uh, what's going to happen is, I go ahead and apply that, is it's going to be barely playable. Right now, we're getting 5 frames per second. So one thing you want to keep in mind about, one, actually 2 frames per second there. 
one thing you want to keep in mind about 8K is uh, if you're using DLSS frame generation, is uh, it's going to end up using too much VRAM. And as you can see here, we're using uh, over the amount of VRAM we have, we're using 24 um, gigabytes plus an extra 400. So clearly we're running out of VRAM and that's going to make the game uh, very much so unplayable. Like right now I'm trying to accelerate and it's just uh, not doable. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind about 8K. And assuming you already have a 4090 or a 3090, the reason I mentioned those two cards is because they have 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And if you're running a card like let's say the 4080 or 4080 Super, the issue is you're not going to have enough VRAM uh, to handle those kind of resolutions. So I just want to point that out that it's important that if you're using the 8K, you don't want to use frame generation because most games, pretty much 90% of all the games I've tested, uh, won't run uh, frame generation at uh, 8K because it runs out of VRAM. So just keep that in mind if you are going to do 8K resolution to uh, not use frame generation and just you know either use a higher DLSS setting, uh, which you could do. I'll just show you just uh, just give me one moment as I try to load the menu here. So then when you want to go to DLSS, you're going to want to set this to uh, Ultra Performance. That may make it playable. We'll see. And that brings the frames per second to 54, and that lowers the VRAM usage to 19 gigabytes. So just something else to uh, keep in mind. If you're going to use uh, frame generation in uh, 8K, you got to really increase the uh, DLSS settings to... Uh, lower the uh, render resolution to uh, you know make games playable. That's just one little thing I wanted to point out. So hope this video was helpful. I did uh, ask, have a lot of people ask me about how to run 8K resolutions and a lot of people asked me what are my overclock settings for my 40 on so I just basically want to cover that in this video. But if you did like the video, do this video like. If you want to see more content like this, more 4090 game videos, more PS5 videos, uh, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, appreciate all support, and I'll see you guys for another video soon. Later guys, peace out.